Yo guys, welcome back to another Done Much More Fresh video. Okay, so I'm really sorry, it's so much later than usual. I had to go and pick my son up from school, so I didn't have time to record or edit or anything like that. Anyway, guys, so uh, English slides are up on Facebook. I am going to be doing all this, going over to Discord, checking out the new units, and then I will later I'll be recording a Should You Summon video for tomorrow, so you'll have all of the information or relative info. Uh, relevant information uh, before banners come up regarding my opinion on them. Anyway, so let's get into the slides and we'll see what's what. Uh, the Uranus 311 draw, please don't go in on his banner. I don't think he's a good unit. I don't think he's a good assist. Excuse me. He's definitely not worth it. Um, so maybe one copy for CP purposes if you can spare the Iris. If not, just do the 311 draw and be done with it. Uh, they're giving us 50 dungeon cakes now. I'm telling you right now if These this is great, but please don't use CP items on units that do not get double the reward from them You can check there's a little love heart next to them when you're giving it to them If there's no love heart, they don't get double don't give it to them <clears throat> We're getting a new high difficulty quest and EX story of it like yeah, basically it's gonna be a ridiculously hard boss again Hopefully I can recall I can beat it and show you guys how I beat it uh, when it comes to S clearing, it's up in the air, man. You never know whether you're going to be able to S clear it because the game is catered towards the current banner, and it's it's becoming one of those games where older older units uh, still, uh, you know, they can't compare and can't match up to the current content, which is never a good sign for games. I will say that right now. Like, if you can't use units that have been out for maybe a couple of weeks or a few weeks and to beat some, you know the content then it is what it is I understand it's the highest difficulty content in the game currently but being pigeonholed into whaling for the most recent units because it's catered specifically for that that's not fun uh moving on <laughs> this is the banner i'm gonna go over it like i said i'm gonna do a should you summon I will say right now, I need to at least do one draw to see if I can get one copy of Kali. Fingers crossed I do. I don't have a Dark Element uh, assist, so I kind of really need her. Anyway, it's going to be a tough one, man. <laughs> Let's go. I'm not going to bother looking at these right now. The artwork, it, it, the, with, when it comes to the artwork, it is what it is. I think they're just being a little bit lazy because they're trying to put out as many bait banners as possible before the, like, the New Year's and Christmas stuff comes around. Riveria Record Buster is back. It's going to be light. Get your teams ready. I'm good. I've got Otal and Goblin Slayer, so I should be able to score decently high at least. But we'll see. You never know. Like uh, seventh zone, we will be getting double the rewards for the next four seventh zones. So sorry, you can hear motorbike coming by, uh, going by. Uh, it'll be these two seventh zones, and next two seventh zones, we'll be getting double rewards. Keep that in mind. Uh, what else? The login bonus. I like. You know what? I like. I know they've only just. They've just. Excuse me. They've only changed the hue of the background, but I kind of like it in the red. It looks it looks cooler. Uh, if you log in after the episode of anime uh, on the thirteenth, sorry. If you log in after the episode, you'll get a present. We also get the new draw as well as the new side story. Uh, I'm gonna tell you right now. This is supposed to be a teaser. This is a who's that Pokemon type thing and you're completely stupid if you think this is supposed to get fans excited Like only people that have read the light novels manga thing will probably get it anyway, but Don't make a silhouette and then put a giant black shadow over it Come on we're supposed to be able to guess or at least make it a little bit difficult to guess but if we tried hard enough, we could get it. Who can get that? Who? I mean, I know some people have get it, got it already. I just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, version 10.4.6 will be launched on the 18th. That's all good. I'll probably go over the patch notes once it launches or before it launches to let you guys know what's coming. True Familiar Royale. Now, something I can get behind, finally, because War Game sucks. Uh, <laughs> New system skill flow aim for the highest rank. Okay, hopefully they explain that closer to the time. On the 12th, we're getting the long tail, the seventh zone, and record buster. The login bonus starts on the 13th. We have the episode seven on the 13th as well. 18th is a new version update, new theme song, and on the 20th, familiar royale comes, or true familiar royale, should I say. And then all of these are leaving. Let's jump over to Discord, and we will see what's what.
Okay, we're over here on the Dalmatian Memorial Freeze Reddit Discord. Thank you for the translations, you guys, as always. Uh, we're starting with Argana. Now, look at the stats. Artwork, I'm not going to comment on the artwork because it seems really lazy. I do like a bit of uh, Piney, but obviously it's been covered, so I can't be Lude Dragon right now. Anyway, so uh, strength 2045, speed 1147. She's clearly a war game unit, as they usually come in pairs anyway, so let's have a look. SA, AoE, Ultra Dark, Physical Attack, Ultra On Guard Rate, Temporary, Great Strength Boost, and for three turns, Self Strength and Dark Damage plus 80%, and AoE Resistance plus 50%. I like that. She is an AoE nuking unit. Cool. You can take her outside of War Games. She'll still be uh, pretty efficiently good in terms of damage. She'll be good in AoE 7 zones for sure, just based on the SA. Skill 1, Allies Fast, 5 turns, Physical Resist, Magic Resist, and Guard Rate plus 30%, and 3 additional actions. Skill 2, AoE, fast. She's got two fast mod modifiers. At this point, is there any point agility existing in the game? I don't think so. Do you? Um, Ultra Uncounter and Self Strength plus 70%, AoE Resist plus 40%. Skill 3, single target, high dark, ultra uh, physical attack, ultra on guard, and for every AoE Resist buff on self, skill damage plus 40%. And Ogres, because we know True Familiar Rao is going to have Ogres in it. Let's move on to the next unit. Okay, so we're looking at Bash, Bach, Bach, whatever her name is. Uh, it's 20, 25 strength, 10, 17 agility, another war game unit, guarantee it. SA, ultra dark physical attack with ultra pen, temporary great strength boost, and for three turns, 40% poison. Yay! Just when I thought the power creep was the worst thing in the game, no, you add a power creep plus let's just turn war game into a dark ailment meta, because fun, eh? I'm oh, sorry, I, I I think I was a little bit too dramatic about that. No, I'm not happy that Ailment's back uh, or even in it, and it's going to be so prevalent. Uh, especially given what I'm seeing as the rest of her skills. Anyway, so skill 1, AoE for 4 turns, penetration rate, physical, re uh, physical resist, and uh, gain minus 30% and gains 3 additional actions. Low, oh, and 35% HP poison. Skill 2, Super AoE Dark, Physical Attack, Ultra Pen, Temporary Strength Boost for 2 turns, Self Strength 70% and Poison Resist minus 75%. Okay, so we're back, sorry about that minor interruption. Uh, where were we? Skill 1, Penetration Rate and Physical Resist minus 30% additional actions and 35% HP Poison, cool. Skill 2, AoE Super Dark, Physical Attack, Ultra Pen, Temporary Strength, uh, temporary strength Boost, Self strength plus seventy percent and poison resist minus seventy five percent. Okay, this this skill on its own means you need an ailment resist assist as well as an ailment resist anklet. Unless you genuinely just gonna wipe the floor with the team within two turns. Uh, so maybe it, you know physical. It's gonna bring back physical rush, but then at the same time, if you bring uh, Argana, she's gonna be semi stall as well. So we're pretty much. Beeped. Uh, anyway, so skill free, single target, high dark, physical attack, ultra crit. If the enemy's poisoned, skill damage plus sixty percent. Okay, cool. Uh, and we're moving on to the last unit. So, Carly clearly uh, an assist designed for war game strength and agility. Good stats. Uh, allies strength and crit plus fifteen percent and dark plus twenty percent. So if you get one copy of her, she'll probably give you ten percent strength and crit and fifteen percent dark damage. Element assists are hard to come by, which is why they're dropping them so frequently at the minute because we're coming up to celebration banners. They want your iris gone. Anyway, guys, that is going to be the video. I'm sorry if it was a little bit on the negative side when it comes to the units. I will be dropping a should you summon. Uh, make sure to drop a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're not. Social media links in the description. And as always, guys, I love you and I'll catch you later. Yeah, boy,